Hello virtual boys and girls, Ryan for the VR Grid here back with another video. This time we're covering the PSVR 2 release for Down and Out. Now you may be wondering why I'm not doing a full review for the game, and we'll get to that. But for those that are just ducking in and out of this video, do not buy this game. Right off the hop at the opening moments of the game, it tasks you with hitting signs to select which mode you want to do, and that doesn't even work quite well. Not to mention the text that pops up in front of your face as you move forward, and layers over top of itself. Anyways. Hitting these signs, continue a new game, will bring up the credits for some reason. Don't know why. Uh, eventually I kind of figured out that if you just actually look to the right, you'll see a door open up that lets you kind of go into the neighborhood. And then from there, it just goes downhill right away. It tells you to get into fights, and the fights are awful to say the least. For those that remember Boxing Apocalypse, a game that came out for the PSVR some years ago, it was an absolutely abhorrent boxing sim, and I'm telling you, the combat in there is way better than the combat in here. For those looking for their next drunken bar fight, or even Gorn, look elsewhere, as this is nothing short of shoddy. Your hits have almost no impact, and when they do, you just have to wait for the NPC animations to just go through, so there's no combos or kind of follow-up attacks. It's just one hit, wait for animation, one hit, wait for animation, and you can block in this game as well, which I guess seems like, you know, it adds layer to the, of depth to the combat, but honestly, I very rarely did ever block because it just didn't seem necessary, unless I was ganged up upon by like three or four dudes, we'll get to that in a bit. Anyways, tutorial, whatever, get you to the street, once you're on the street, you basically just task with wandering around aimlessly and like selecting mini games and missions, and the missions just involve combat, which once again, sucks. Or just like random physics based games like throwing basketballs into hoops or throwing trash at bums or street people. I don't know what you apologize if I'm offensive. You have to avoid cops who, if they see you, just put your hands up and they just leave you alone. Everything in here animates poorly at best or just oddly um, with cops prancing around in the middle of a fight people you're fighting will make the weirdest gestures they'll say the same things over and over and over and over and over again and fist fights are just tedious absolutely tedious now you can bring weapons into the fray but weapons just don't really change things up too much they just do more damage which i guess makes the fight shorter which i guess is good and that's really the name of the game here there's a level up system that's supposed to i guess i don't know i, I don't know what that actually gets you because I experienced a game breaking bug less than an hour into the game that basically prevented me from advancing further and honestly by that point I didn't care. There's just so much wrong with this thing. The, the environment's not very large. There's a lot of popping throughout this first stage. Random NPCs will just come over you and just start fighting you. Quests are redundant. Controls are awful. There's no turning option in the game so you have to turn to real world which is fine except when you're like on a bike. And when you're on a bike, you have no choice but to like click turn your way around the neighborhood, which is just a brutal, brutal way of like driving a bike. I experienced a glitch at that bike where once I beat the guy up and got his pizza, my actual whole hand, once I grabbed the pizza, just disappeared. I didn't disappear. It actually just laid on the ground and I had my hand back. All right, sure, fine. I went to go find some more quests and I triggered some big, huge, brilliant guy to come beat me up and beat him up and the Atch music didn't stop. So I couldn't proceed. I couldn't activate any more quests because once you're in the middle of a fight, you can't just activate quests. I canceled out of that quest and it, the game just reset and just respawned this guy. I reset the game. Didn't matter. I just continued exactly where I left off. And I had absolutely no desire whatsoever to restart this from scratch as it's absolutely tedious. Um, one of the challenges is like fight guys until time runs out, you beat them all. And man, it just keeps going and going and going. It's just not fun. No part of this game is fun. And not to mention the fact it's broken, it doesn't look great, and it's an all-around poor effort. In fact, I think it's the worst game currently available for the PSVR 2 headset, and that's saying something. <laughs> so yeah, I can't do a full review of this game because I honestly can't play it. I don't want to play it. Um, this is my warning. If you guys have played this and think differently than me, please leave a comment below. But I'm telling you, stay away from this train wreck. It's not good. It's just poor on every single level and is not worth your time or energy. I'd say this is an absolute dumpster fire, except dumpster fires are kind of fun to watch. So this is worse than a dumpster fire. That's all I got to say about this one. Thanks so much for watching and hopefully I saved you guys some money.
Grind your ass in the cup. Shit, get out. What you run? I'm gonna grind your ass in the concrete, dumb face. This is the street, dog. There ain't no. You ain't got nothing to do with that. 